How's it going guys, girls, and enemy pals? I'm Alice in Wonderland, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and you know what's better than being gay? Being trans and gay. Well, you're in luck, because today I'm gonna show you how to do just that. It's Pride Month, which means we're out in full force. It is like waterbenders under the power of the full moon. And to celebrate, I'm doing a couple Pride flag themed makeup tutorials. Today, we're doing the trans flag, as you can see. Stick around and I'll show you how to do this. You too can be gay! All right, here we are. Let's put some trans makeup on. Now, Google Maps thinks gay people are twice as fast, but they don't have a measurement for trans people. We know, of course, that trans people are even faster. No! Because of that, I'm just gonna sprint really quickly through my color correction, concealer, foundation, and blush just so that we can get to the trans flag really quick. Now, some of you may know, I'm a bit of a fan of the trans flag. My PC is trans, my socks are trans. Believe it or not, even my body is trans. And it's time to make my face trans. But there is a caveat. The caveat being, of course, that I'm dumb as f and in the last video, I forgot the colors of the rainbow. This time, to be sure, let's just make sure we have them all right. On the trans flag, we've got blue, pink, white, pink, and then blue again. Allow me to sing the song of my people. Blue, pink, white, pink, blue. 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 So three colors. Once again, you're gonna want them to be quite heavily pigmented. You want them to be visible. This is my palette of choice, my revolution bird of paradise. And we're gonna start with blue. For which, <laughs> I'm gonna use this macaw shade right here. How am I gonna do this without making the camera blur? You want to nice and smoothly cover about one fifth of your eyelid. And same on the bottom. And then we're gonna f off to Tibet. Because we have the vacay shade. Try to use your applicator vertically so that you get a nice, clean vertical line. Don't worry, you don't have to be straight for long. You can go back to sucking gawk right after this. Handy tip for things like this. Remember, if you overdo it, you can always use a Q-tip to wipe away the excess. Nice and easy. Now, do you wanna know the super secret, awesome, amazing tip to getting really good trans flag makeup? The secret that is Alice in Wonderland patented that no one else knows? There is no such thing as a real white eyeshadow. That is the problem. For some reason, white eyeshadows always just fall flat. They come off really quickly and they don't really look that white. What I do instead is I use a white eyeliner. This is superior in every conceivable way. So we're gonna do the white with eyeliner. I use a Stiller liquid eyeliner. Most white liquid eyeliners are gonna do fine, so just try that. See, look how nice and white that is. Good time to mention, of course, my number one trick with eyeliner, always rest your palm on your jaw. I talk about this in more detail in this video, which I've already linked in this video. I'll put the link in the description. Now the big problem with this method, of course, is that eyeliner is notoriously a bitch to work with and white eyeliner is even worse. You might find yourself having to do several coats in order to get it looking properly opaque. I've just done about three coats off camera because it was really difficult to get it in this sort of lighting, but just be patient and you'll get there. My tip for getting it to look really solid is actually just to sort of, if, if you'll see here, I, I actually dab it like that. I give myself a little box and then I fill it by dabbing it. Just like that, you know? Hopefully that helps you. If it doesn't, I will literally cry. Back to pink. And it's about now that the trans flag starts to become recognizable. And last but not least, we're going back to blue and we're gonna turn it into a little bit of a wing on the end of the eye. Mm -hmm. 
And that's how Kyle is done. We are looking so good. We are looking so fucking gay. We are looking so gay. We're almost as gay as my sponsor for this episode. Red I'm just kidding. No one would sponsor this shit. Time to finish things up. Eyeliner. We just want to slightly accentuate our eye. Lash curlers. Mascara. Again, if you want a more in-depth look on how I do each of these things and all of my tips for all of you baby trans out there, you can check out the video I have linked in the description. I'm gonna put on some fake freckles because I like them. You don't have to do this. Earrings. I can't find the fucking hole. Oh my god, I'm like a fucking middle-aged man. Here we go. Hair. The lip gloss. And lastly, my glasses, which I have fixed with epoxy resin since the last video. Can you notice? Can you see? I'm so handy. Boom, there we go. This is my trans pride makeup look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you think it looks good. Let me know in the comments. And hopefully you look just as trans and gay as I do if you have been following all the steps of this video. And look, I didn't even call you a bottom once this entire video. I have got such self-control, even though you literally followed every single one of my instructions. You fucking submissive. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Please share it with your friends. Celebrate Pride Month. Maybe you get fucking 23 of you all looking like this, all making out in one humongous trans polycule for Pride Month. That would be so awesome. Can you imagine? I really wish I had a girl to kiss right now. If you want to apply for the role, be sure to hit that join button and perhaps become a commissioned officer in my queer army. Thank you to all of our members. I love you. See you later, you gay f**ks.